some tea And the doll disapprovingly asks if you really need that much honey You decide that you've had enough And you lock the doll in the wooden box You put the box in the fireplace next to your bag of big city money As the smoke fills up your tiny Okay, okay, let's get started. Hey everyone, it's the Wacky Morning Show, full of prank calls and spiritual enlightenment. Enlightenment. Except no, no, no prank calls. I'm not going to do prank calls. Prank calls are dumb. So today before the show I've called a suicide hotline and I got a worker to give me names and phone numbers and the problems of the last dozen or so callers and we're gonna call them up and fuck with them it's gonna be hilarious gonna gonna mess with potential suicide victims it's gonna be the best thing ever can't wait for that i've been wanting to do this for a while it's gonna be so great today we're broadcasting on phonelosers.org and madhouselive.com and I've also got the Mixler running mixler.com slash madhouse live so if you're listening to this on the podcast feed you should go to Mixler mixler.com slash madhouse live it's spelled really stupidly so you have to go to the show notes on phonelosers.org and just click on the link to go to it and add it as a friend set up a Mixler account Mixler's kind of cool much less of a delay than on the Shoutcast stream. And hopefully other Madhouse shows will be using Mixler. And Mixler is good at notifying people. I think it emails you or something whenever a show starts. So yay! I have breaking news, which requires the breaking news music. I just have to find it. Breaking news, everyone. Uh, Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple Computer, has defriended me on Facebook. And he has blocked Samantha. Like, Samantha can't even see his profile. She doesn't even see it exists. She is blocked from his account. We don't know why. But suddenly, I'm defriended. Samantha's blocked. And we think that um, he must have gotten word about an old prank call we did uh, where we called him up in a a hotel in India that he was staying at like a year or two ago. And we woke him up and he talked to us for a while. He was super nice. But then there's other times we've called him on Foursquare. Um, I've never posted the calls because they weren't funny. But like I've got him to come to the phone in restaurants and stuff. And then other times the the waiter will come, you know, we'll try to get him to come to the phone and, and he refuses and I think he got word that it's the PLA. So, <laughs> sorry, Steve Wozniak. Apparently it's pissed him off enough, though, to defriend me and block Samantha, which seems a little backwards. You'd think, you'd think it would be... I don't know, Samantha was the instigator of the Indian hotel thing, so maybe he heard that. And he's like, fuck this bitch, and blocked her. And then he's like, oh, who's this friend of hers? Brad, and defriended me. We still have a lot of um, mutual friends, me and Steve Wozniak, though. Maybe I should email him. No, no. Anyway, that's hilarious. Oh, other breaking news. It doesn't deserve the breaking news music, but there's a new fun show out uh, by Roxy. And I've been, I've been saying forever now that she'll never do another fun show. But apparently she has. And there's a new fun show. She posted it on our YouTube. I haven't listened to it yet because I was busy last night. But I'm going to listen to it today. Her YouTube account is stupid. It's youtube.com slash omghacks.net. But the dot is spelled out. omghacks.net. I'll put a link to her show in the show notes if I post this show. 
But um, everyone seems pretty happy with it. I read the comments. Oh, and in, in the comments, you can see where she's just lying about me. She's like, oh, I really want Brad back as a co-host, but he's just too busy for me. And he can't do a show with me anymore. Which is bullshit. Bullshit, Roxy. Fucking liar. Lies, 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 Roxy. And I want to play this news story, which is pretty hilarious, I think. Let me see if I can pull it up. I'm pretty sure this show at some point is just going to crash. My computer is running really slow. I should have done a reboot. I'm kind of wondering if Mixler takes up more resources than I think it does. Because it was doing this on the show the other night, and I kept losing the Madhouse stream, and I think it was my fault. So just expect bad things before I quit. Um, this is a hilarious story that some some guy, um, Todd Coogan, on Facebook sent me this a link to the story about a uh, a hilarious baby monitor story. And this is one of those new baby monitors that's uh, internet connected, and you know it has a camera and a microphone and two way microphone. For two years, Mark Gilbert and his wife have come to rely on their internet cameras. Okay, the weirdest thing about this news thing, like in the right channel of the audio, you're hearing just this this guy in the story just rambling. And then in the left channel, you're hearing the news report. It's And it's not my fault. This, this news site screwed something up, and the audio is just really bizarre. And and the podcast people aren't going to notice this because I encode all the podcasts as uh, mono. You know, I convert them to mono. So this is pointless to even say this. But it's really weird for you people listening live. You're going to hear different things in each channel. Almost couldn't live without it. With them, they could watch their two toddlers in their rooms. But over the weekend, someone else was watching too. It felt like somebody broke into our house. Gilbert says he first heard a voice from down the hall. As he and his wife got closer, what it got worse. He said, uh, uh, wake up, Allison, you little Soon he knew it was coming from the camera. I see the camera move on us. Gilbert immediately pulled the plug and started doing research. He believes that someone hacked his router as well as the camera. The person could see Alice's name on her wall to call her by it. He now wants to warn other parents about the danger. As a father, um, you know, I'm supposed to protect her against people like this. And so it's uh, it's a little embarrassing, uh, you know, to say the least, but uh, it's not going to happen again. The only saving grace is that Allison never heard a thing. Allison was born deaf, so she has cochlear implants. So uh, thankfully, she we had them off, and she didn't hear any of it, and she slept right through it. I don't know if that story was clear or not, like what the hell you're talking about. Maybe you needed the pictures. But, you know, like everyone has these baby monitors now that are Internet connected. I actually have a friend in L.A. who has a baby and and, and she wanted to show me something hilarious. And she gave me the login and I could I could like watch their baby and hear their baby. And if I wanted to, I could hit a button and start saying creepy things at the baby, which I didn't do. Of course, as I wouldn't do that a friend. On. I gotta turn down some. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, you can hack into these things. I mean, uh, uh, Liz Darwin uh, earlier this year, she was finding all these open video cameras in people's houses, not baby monitors, but just cameras. And and we were watching just all kinds of crazy shit in people's houses, and they had no idea they were being watched. You know, they just think, oh, it's a video, it's a security camera. No one else can see this except me. Maybe they don't even know they're connected to the Internet. I don't know. But we were watching like um, we, we, we watched uh, we watched a lady sleep every night. Uh, I mean, several people sleep every night. Uh, we watched people like uh, getting all naked in their cameras, uh, people smoking weed uh, or like an old couple in their kitchen. And I actually got their phone number and called them. And watch them like walk over and disconnect the camera, which was kind of hilarious. But yeah, these these security cameras, we got to do some hilarious pranks with them because they're so easy to get into, and and you don't even have to do any hacking. You know, they're just open. They they just they 
owners don't read the manuals. They don't know that they're just sitting there open. Super easy. It's amazing. It's the best thing ever. Yes, stupid guy chat room, I'm live. Yep, yep, got to do some, some camera things soon. Camera pranks. Like, like the old, uh, the old prank show pranks where he got on those cameras at the pizza place and the restaurant and, and we just watched him mess with them. It was so awesome. I'm gonna do pranks or something, I guess. Let's play a song, and I'm I'll, I'll try and uh, get a hold of some prank thingies. Yelp check-in call here. Good morning. Thank you, Holland Care. This is Amanda. How can I help you? Oh, hello. Um, I have a, a family member that's in there right now. His name's Greg. Uh-huh. Uh, is there any way to maybe talk on the phone with Greg? You want to talk to Greg really quick? He's actually in the middle of an interview, so he won't be out until about 11, and uh. then I believe he starts his first client at 11. Oh, balls. So leave him a message? Balls. Is it urgent? Balls, man. Balls. <laughs> Greg was supposed to sell me some weed, <laughs> but um, do you think I, um, what times, when, when's he going to be available for me to just come in and just kind of, you know, make a quick exchange with him? Um, hang on one second, I can go check his book. That's his thing. He's going to cut people's hair, but like, <laughs> I'll leave like a, you know, $80 tip and he'll <laughs> slip me some weed. Um, let me, let me go check. Hang on. Okay. Wait, are you a cop? Thanks for holding. How may I help you? Oh, is Greg around? Yeah, he's in an interview right now. Oh, an interview with what? Is this Rod? No, my name's Kevin. Kevin? Yeah, I'm his dealer. <laughs> of course you're. Anyway, um, he's with an interview right now. Oh, okay. Well... Balls. You want me to take your name and number? No, just tell him balls and um, tell him he's a big dummy. <laughs> tell him what? He's a big dummy. Just that he's a big dummy? Yes, and, <laughs> and punch him in the stomach. 
Um, I like my job too much for that one. Uh, can you punch him in the stomach and tell him I want my money? Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, bye. Thanks, bye. <laughs> okay, so he's a manager, I guess? It's not his first day? I don't know. I don't know what that was all about, but yeah, I thought he was a customer, but apparently he was an employee or a manager or something. It's a hair salon. William P. in the chat room says, Brad Carter, keeping people unemployed since 1996. I wonder how many people have gotten tired at this point. All right. I'm just going to sit here and mumble into the microphone while I search for a new one to call. It's the only thing that sucks about Foursquare. Foursquare and Yelp check-ins is i got to find them. It takes a minute. Oh, here's a guy at a barbershop. I just checked in at the Rockefeller Barbershop. <laughs> He's a U.S. Navy CB. Or, you know, he was. Or maybe he is, I don't know. But yeah, let's call the Rockefeller Barbershop. In Ohio. Any ideas in the chat room what I should say to to Craig at the barbershop? I'm assuming he's a customer this time, not an employee or a manager doing interviews. Rock for the barbershop. Hello, uh, my uh, a family member in there of mine is in there. His name's Craig. Is there any way I could talk to him? Uh, is he a customer? Yeah, he's a customer. Craig? Uh-huh. Oh, shit, your name's Craig. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. It's your buddy. How's he calling for me? Hello? Hey, Craig. Yeah. Hey, tell that guy not to curse on the phone. It's very unprofessional. Who's this? And I don't appreciate it. Could you tell him that? Yeah, who's this? Did you tell him yet? Tell him not to curse no, anymore. This? this is Roy. Dude, I'm ca- I don't even know who this is. No, I'm calling from the corporate office of the barbershop. You're calling from what? The corporate office of the barbershop. The corporate, dude. Seriously, I don't know who this is. You're, you're our millionth customer. Congratulations. Okay. All right, thank you. Yay! Some jackoff was nothing better to do. Hey. I have no idea. Okay. Hey, that's Hello? very unprofessional. He just called me a jackoff. Yeah, you're an idiot. I don't know who this is. Seriously. No, listen. Tell Greg not to say things like that. Did you hang up? Hello. This is another thing that Liz Darwin found. She found a bar- Rockefeller Barbershop. Can I help you? Hi, um, my friend Craig's in there. Okay. Listen, can you give him? Can you ask the guy that's cutting his hair? Tell him to give Craig a really stupid haircut. It'll be funny. I'm sorry, we don't do those kinds of things. No, it'll be funny. It's a prank. Give Craig a stupid um, sorry. haircut. Sorry, no, our our professional licenses are at stake, and we don't prank anyone with their haircut. Oh come on, I'm just sorry. just do it. Just say it was no. an accident. Pardon me? Just say it was an accident. I really don't think so, and I have a client in my chair, and I have It'll to go. It'll be fucking hilarious, lady. <sighs> yeah, uh, Liz Darwin, she found this barbershop, and we watched these people in a barbershop all day. We never, we really wanted to find out their phone number and couldn't figure it out, like who they were exactly. But we watched a barbershop all day. We need to start a thread. On the PLA forums of open cameras and start messing with them. Damn it. I'm going to steal all the ones that Liz found for us and and I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. Everyone go to the forums because nobody ever goes to the forums anymore. Phonelosers.com. Not .org. .com. That's where the forums are. I'm going to start a thread today about open cameras and we're going to have fun with them. All right. During all that, 19 new Yelp results. This lady checked in at Five Guys. Here's someone that char- checked in at Target. You know, Targets never work out, but I always try. I really want to try this. Um, I want to have her paged.
Thank you for calling the Noonan Target Store. Our normal store business hours are Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. It's located just one half mile west of I-85 on Highway 34, Boldsboro Drive. For the pharmacy, press 1. For electronics, press 4. For the photo lab, press 5. To speak to the store operator, please wait or press 0. Please stay on the line while your call is transferred to the operator. Shut up, Enigma. God. Clark and Enigma, what's going on with you? Hi. Um, is there any way I could have a customer page that's in there right now to come to the phone? Uh, we can't do overhead pages here. Um. Oh, could I have the fitting rooms? Yeah, hold on. Thanks. This takes too long. I'm trying to find the um the barber person again cuz I want to keep an eye on his Twitter and see if he see if he tweets. But I think it's too far back at this point. I can't find it. Mmm, Pepsi. Yeah, I'm going to quit. This is dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. I'll, I'll leave it on while I look for something else. Guest service is Lauren. How can I help you? Oh, hello. Would it be possible to have a customer page to come to the phone? What was that? Would it be possible to have a customer page to come to the phone? If it's an emergency. Oh, it's totally an emergency. It is. Is it a child? Oh, no, no, it's a, she's an adult. Okay, um, I would have to have you up at the front asking me to page somebody. Well, no, you're changing the rules. You said it would be okay if it's an emergency. Her mom's dying. Big car wreck. She needs a blood transfusion from her daughter. Okay, are you here in the store? No, no, that's why I'm making a phone call. Duh. Okay, one second. I'm going to actually give you to a manager. Okay. Bitch. Fucking bitch. Won't even transfer me. What a bitch. Oh my god, such a bitch. Can you believe this bitch? Ugh. Sir, I can still hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. Be able to help you. I'm sorry you put me in. I thought you put me in hold. Yeah, go ahead and get me the manager, ma'am, please. <laughs> Hurry the fuck up. All right, I hung up. <laughs> okay. A couple more of these and I'm quitting. Quitting for the day. Here's a 24-hour fitness. That's always hilarious to have people pulled off of their exercise machine. Oh, I just got a voicemail. Maybe I should play voicemails. I've been meaning to do that on morning shows for about, you know, two months now. Oh, by the way, about Steve Wozniak, uh, you know, he, he defriended me on Facebook and he blocked Samantha on Facebook, but I am still friends with him on Foursquare, which he uses often to check in. So, I mean, I am, like at this point with him defriending me and, you know, me and Steve are no longer BFFs. Even after I bought his book, I purchased his book and read it and it was amazing. Everyone should read I Was. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, I, I really want to like page him in a restaurant now just because he defriended me and we're no longer friends. That'll teach him. I'll teach him to be angry about me fucking with him. Someplace else. Oh, that's weird. I, 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 I lost my search. Excuse me? Oh, um, could I have a customer page that's in there? I'm sorry? Could I have a customer page that's in there? 
Uh, yeah, hold on just one sec. What's her name? Uh, her name's uh, Amelia Williamson. Okay. I don't think they're here. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for checking. No problem. Have a Bye good bye. have a good day. I love you. Was it amazing? I didn't start cursing at them when they didn't have her. I'm so nice. Oh, this poor guy. He checked into Burger King and he had to wait nearly 15 minutes in the drive-thru. And then he had to ask for the receipt. That's fucking bullshit. Poor guy. He's had a rough morning. Ah, uh, here's another Target. I'm not gonna try Target. Okay, here's one. I'm going to try this one. Her name's Michelle. She checked in at the Old Mill Bakery Cafe. In Maryland. Old Mill Bakery, can I help you? Hello, um, could I page a customer that's in there to, to come to the phone? Um, she she just came in there. Her name's Michelle Bassler. Michelle Bassler. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Is that you? Hello. Who's that? I don't know. It's for you. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Michelle. Hi. It's Brad. Oh, hey. Hey, I'm an internet stalker. I just saw you check in on on Twitter. Yes. And um, I just thought I'd call and say hello. Oh, okay. What you doing? Getting something. <laughs> really? What are you? What are you getting? What What are you having today? Oh, I don't know. You come on. You know. Come on. Not what? sure yet. I just walked in. Oh. Um. Well, what are you thinking about getting? Like, what's on the menu? I'm going to help you decide. Uh, there's sandwiches and there's pastries. Don't get anything high cholesterol. Yeah. Yeah. You don't <laughs> want that. Because I noticed on August twelfth, you didn't like high cholesterol. <laughs> Um, All right. Are you going to get something to drink? Uh, yeah. What What are you going to get to drink? Uh, I'm not sure. Do they sell beer there? I've never been here before. Oh. What's, well, is there beer on the menu? Are there beer taps? No. I, actually, I'm at a cafe. Oh, okay. It's, so no it's beer. It's like coffee and stuff. We can't have beer then. No. Balls. <laughs> Balls. I suggest... Um, a sandwich of some sort. What's that? Do you get pickles on your sandwiches? Uh, occasionally. Oh, man, I can't stand pickles. I hate pickles. <laughs> Every time I eat a pickle, I just want to throw up all over the table. <laughs> and sometimes I do, just to prove a point. I'm just like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do, all over the table. All right. <laughs> Why don't you have a good day? All right. Um, can you just hand the phone back to her? I, I, just need, okay. I need to say a few things to that lady. Bye. I need to give her a piece of my mind. Okay. Jeannie, right? Yeah. <laughs> what? No, she hung up. Aw. Hello? I still hear noises. I hear crazy landline noises. <sighs> that was alright. I'm gonna leave her... I'm gonna leave her thingy open. Just in case she tweets about that. Oh! <laughs> Breaking news, everyone. Craig from the, um, the Rock Rockefeller Barbershop. Oh, uh, yeah. He just tweeted. He's like, if you have enough time on your hands to call a business I'm at, then you are an asshole with no life. And he spelled your wrong. He spelled Y O U R. What a big dummy. 
I should reply to him. I should be like, I hope your haircut looks stupid. Tee <laughs> Alright. Let's look for a couple others. Let's play voicemails. Um, I have my... Something just came in. And it's really long. And there are phone numbers involved. Oh, hey, this is James again. You know, uh... No, I'm fine now. But there's one company I used to work for. It's fucking hilarious. This would be a kind of different thing. It's a tool repair company. And I'm from Canada. I'm from D.C. Canada, Vancouver area. And uh, this is a rapid... It's from Rapid Tools, the company. And their phone number is 604 3 and it would be hilarious. If you want to discuss or something what to say to them, you can call me at 604-9 or get me on Facebook or something or contact, contact me. Yeah, that person. It would be hilarious to set up a prank that way. Yeah, you guys, yeah. You guys are hilarious. Okay, yeah. uh, I'm looking at this guy right now. It's hilarious. They just set up a professional thing now. It's fucking oh my god. These guys get like done so easily. Cause no, seriously. Uh, the main guy's name is John. He took over the company. And he's kind of a mess. And it's funny because he doesn't really know much. Well, he didn't really know much about the tools when I was there, and he just took over the company because he bought it. And so he's a dummy. So you could easily confuse him. Get. See you later, Brett. Wow. <laughs> that was a really long message, and I'm not sure what he's talking about. I just know that I'm supposed to prank this phone number. So let's copy it. The guy's name is John. He's a dumbass. It's some sort of a tool company. I don't usually take requests, but I'm going to try this. And This is a horrible idea. This is going to be This is going to be his number or something. Why am I doing this? I don't even know what to say. Hello? This stupid phone. Hi, thanks for calling Profit Tool. Oh, hi. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I try and come to the phone. It puts me on speakerphone. And that's okay. I'm, get back to it, I'm, I won't come back. I'm drunk, I'm drunk too, so that's all right. <laughs> How can I help you? Um, I just need to know if you have like a tool that can um, that can get me out of a glory hole. Uh, like t like an actual like tool tool. Yeah, you know, just something that could release me from this glory hole that I'm trapped in. <laughs> what uh, What were you looking for? Like, I don't know. Do we don't actually sell tools. Really? But you you call yourself tool? Whatever. Or tool repair. Oh, because I have a tool to get out of glory holes, but it's broken, so I can't get out of the glory hole. Oh, that's what you're referring to. But okay. I, I, I can't come out there, really, because I'm stuck in the glory hole. Okay. So, um, is there any way, like, can you send John out here, maybe? And, like, he can um, repair this? What, what is the, I don't, what is the uh, tool? It's a glory hole, um, uh, glory, I don't know what it's called exactly. It's like a glory hole removinator. Oh, so it's like a, is it like a large item or? No, it's, it's sort of small. I, I had to, get, I, I got the extra small version of it for obvious reasons. Okay. I, is it for, like, is it stuck to the ground or something? Like, is it stationary? No, I'm stuck in the gl glory hole and I'm trying to use it to pry myself out. Maybe you could just help me repair it over the phone. No. We don't do that. Uh, it's kind of important. It's, I mean, it's really embarrassing, and I'm just stuck in this glory hole. Just one moment, please. Is John around? Hello, can I help you? Hi. Is this, same, yes. is this the same person? No, what can I help you with? Oh, good, a sober person. Um, I'm stuck in a glory hole, and I have this glory hole tool. Like, is, can you guys fix glory hole tools? One moment. Oh, uh, Lux, if you were going to do a live show, I'm going to quit soon. So, like, you can plan to do a live show. Like, uh, you know, I don't mean to step on toes here. I'm, I'm, I've got to get stuff done. I have things to do. I need to quit really soon. 
Hello. Hi. Yeah, we can fix any tool as long as we can buy parts for it. Okay. Do you, so what exactly is it? You, is it a drill? Is it a... It's a glory hole removinator version 2.0. A re- renew... I'm sorry, I, you, I have noise back here. A what, oh. A re- well, is John, uh, is John around? John would know because he's a man. You're just a dumb woman. I take offense can um, bring your tool to somebody else. Thank well, you. No, no. <laughs> John, go way back. Oh, well. I did my best. I'm just going to be stuck in this glory hole forever. Damn, glory holes. Alright, I'm deleting that voicemail. <laughs> uh, you guys are awesome, man. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm just drunk right now, and I've been <laughs> listening to you guys' uh, PLA for the last, like, I don't know, hours. But I'm just interested in uh, like, how you guys post that listen to PLA little bar on the left hand screen. And, oh man. So, it's fucking too drunk to talk. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I didn't see it. Right on. Peace. Thanks for the drunk call, James. He said he was drunk several times. I don't know if you guys could hear that. It was hard to make the volume work correctly. Uh, sorry, I got the wrong no, but, um. <laughs> nice voicemail. Bye. Okay. I don't remember what my voicemail says. Hey, Brad. Um, my name's David, and I actually really like a lot of your your funny prank calls. I'm not really, like, into everything, because some of them are kind of mean. I mean, let's be honest, you're, you're a pretty mean guy. You can be nice sometimes, but you got some mean, mean stuff. But anyways, I was in the emergency room, because I'm a diabetic, and... Um, when you, your, your Christmas videos where you called some of the people for the photos that you also mean really passed the time by. So I just want to say thank you and God bless. Bye bye. I hope you guys oh, can. And, uh, oh. I still listen to the mean ones. They, they, but they, they mean, you know what I mean? Bye bye. So that guy says I'm mean. I'm only allowed to make nice prank calls from now on. Because those are always hilarious prank calls where you're nice. You don't know who I am, but I know who you are. And I want to know if you want to buy a cat. Not black cat. Oh my god, fucking PLA Radio. I love you guys. Fucking Roy. Roy, oh my god. I'm in love with Roy. I'm, I want to have gay sex with Roy. That's how fucking cool he is. Anyways, listen to you guys every chance I get. Fucking make my day. Amazing show. Keep the pranks coming. And for the love of God, Roy, you're fucking awesome. Cactus. Aw. So sweet that he wants to have gay sex with me. You need to answer the phone more often. I want to talk to you. I'm going to be on the web show. I'm going to be on the radio. Uh, radio Tuna. Radio Tuna. This music that I'm playing it seems really fitting. I think this is the new voicemail music instead of the Michelle music. Brad, man, you are like freaking awesome. Like all of you guys up there at PLA. PLA. Yeah, Dark Strangers, like old school PLA radio, and that's what I'm thinking. Like, what the hell? I haven't done a PLA radio in in over a year, probably. I don't know when I last did a PLA radio, but that guy's no fan. He doesn't know about any of the new shows. He just talks about PLA radio. I uh, know followers are just, are just like, I don't even know. <laughs> you guys are just freaking awesome. Uh, you know, you're freaking hilarious. And you just keep doing what y'all are doing. And I really hope that y'all get some more prank calls up. And uh, by the way, my name is Dawson, D-A-W-S-O-N. And uh, from Florida. Oh, yeah, good but to you spell guys, it. I freaking listen to you, you guys' shows um, all the time. 
and uh, I love all your prank calls, man. Just keep doing what you're doing. And it's really all right. Why did he spell his name? That's weird. Hello, guys. My name is Mikhail, and I would like to know how you guys uh, dinged my car. Yeah. How did we ding his car? That's a really good question. You know, as long as I got this music going, let's check Michelle's Twitter. She's not mad today. Or, you know, yesterday when she was posting. Oh, wait, no, no, here we go, here we go. Uh, she says, I got the candle cooing horrors to go fuck off from me to the gerbil, herbal, organic brain psychos. These sound like rap lyrics. It is awesome. Dumbasses. Go away. LOL. I love that she mentions gerbils. I got the candle cooing horrors to go fuck off from me to the gerbil, herbal, organic brain psychos. Someone needs to start a band called the gerbil, herbal, Organic Brain Psychos. <laughs> That's the best thing ever. Gerbil Herbal Organic Brain Psychos. If I can remember, that's got to be the name of this show when I post it. Gerbil Herbal, Gerbil Herbal Organic Brain Psychos. Wait, I'm writing that down. <laughs> organic Brain Psychos. Uh, but I mean, the rest of her posts are happy. Like before and after that are all happy. I mean, that one seems happy. It, like seems like she feels she got rid of us or something. Um, what a long full day. Every everything is supposed to be okay. That is the way it is. What a nice night. Bean and cheese burritos with salsa verde, a pretty good dinner. I wonder if she got a job or something. Maybe she's less stressed out now. I have car insurance. Thank God stuff, more stuff is going okay for real. Somebody told me I eat like a child. I was not insulted. I had classic sandwich, chips, and an apple lunch, and a cookie. That all normal. Okay. Oh yeah, she got a job. She says her job is going okay. That is good. I am glad. Job going fine. More coffee. Good idea. I am glad I have a gray slash silver car. She always mentions her gray slash silver car. That's really weird. She's still too much as ever. Oh, well, I mean, not as much as she used to when she was unemployed, I guess. But just like nonstop thoughts. Chalkboards or dry erase boards? Cool idea. I got money. Right way to that the point. Okay, ugh, I so relieved. Lux wants me to do some carding calls for old time's sake. Um, but I can't. I I still have the carding phone number, but I only get fake calls. I still get fake calls constantly. I got like two of them yesterday. Alright, let's let's search uh for just a few more um thingies, uh, you know, Yelp check-ins. No, Ram, she's not a sociopath. Where are the sociopaths? By, by the way, everyone, gerbil, herbal, organic brain psychos. <laughs> oh, man, this lady just checked into eye care. As in eyeballs, not apple something. She was at Target, now she's at eye care place. Alright, here we go. Oh shit, this is the same girl I tried to page in Target, but and, and I got hung up on. Or no wait, I hung up on them, but Yeah, this is the same this is the same person. So round two of this lady. Jeffrey Sack here. How may I help you? Oh, hello. Um, my sister is in there um, currently. Is there any way I could have her come to the phone? Her name is... What's her name? Oh, her name's Gina McCona McConaughey. Um, one moment, please. Okay. Hello? 
Hi, is this Gina? Yeah. Hi, Gina. What you doing? You getting your eyes checked? Yes. Who is this? Oh, um, do you wear glasses, or, or are you just gonna get glasses, or are you just like get them updated? Okay. Who is this? Oh, my name's Roy. I'm an internet stalker. I just like to call people at check-in on Yelp. I saw that you were at Target a minute ago, and I tried to have you paged at Target, and they were being big jerks and wouldn't page you for me. So I'm sorry, but uh, at least I was able to reach you here at Jeffrey's Eye Care. So we're lucky about that. Okay. Who is this? Uh, my name is Roy. I'm an internet stalker. Okay. And um, I don't know. Are you going to go to the Atlanta Fitness tonight? No. Why not? You you need it. I mean, no offense or anything, but come on. You got to stick with that. Got to stick with it. Mm-hmm. You know... What kind of glasses do you wear? Uh, I gotta go. Do you have like wireframe glasses or do you have like hipster glasses? <sighs> Damn it, I'm never gonna get a girlfriend. Never gonna get a girlfriend. Never works out. And we'll be right back. <laughs> If you guys heard that, but uh, I, I spilt what was left of my soda on the desk, and luckily it was not much, um, and it was mostly uh, watered down ice. Okay, so uh, to to make Spray's mom happy, I'm gonna call a male this time at an eye place. Thank you for calling Lens Crafters and I am of California. This is Grace. How can I help you? Oh, hello. My brother is in there getting um, something there. Um, his name's Frankie. Is there any way to have him come to the phone? It's about Frank? as... Frank? Okay, hold on one second, okay? Okay, thanks. This is uh, Lens Crafters. He's getting his precious eyes looked at. He's on mine, too. Oh, I didn't... Hello? Hey, Frankie? Yes? Hey, it's Roy. Roy? Yes, I'm um, calling from the corporate office with Lens Crafters. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi. Uh, it turns out that you are actually our um, one millionth customer at this location. So um, you're going to get a free pair of glasses today. What? Uh, seriously, a free pair? Um, you are getting glasses today? Uh, I'm actually getting an eye exam, but a free pair of glasses would be awesome. Yeah, and the eye, the eye exam's free, too. Are you kidding me? Are you excited? Um, yeah, are you totally messing with me? Yay, I'm, I'm doing the applause sound effect. Yeah, I'm just messing with you. Um, my name's Roy, I'm just a Twitter follow of yours, and I saw you checked in. Nothing's, oh, nothing's free. You totally messed with me. Yeah, qu <laughs> quit, quit being so, um, greedy and thinking you deserve free things. God damn it. <laughs> I do deserve free things. Listen, I'm amazing. What kind of glasses are you going to... Don't get hipster glasses, okay? The hipster thing's over. Nobody does <laughs> hipster stuff anymore. Hipster what? is hipster is so 2012. A hipster? I'm not a hipster. Get Harry Potter glasses. Show, I'm so not getting Harry Potter glasses. Sh show, people, <laughs> show people who's boss. Get, that's what you need to get. Promise me you'll get Harry Potter glasses. No. <laughs> 
What is this really about? What's going on here? I'm just a Twitter follower. I'm just a really big fan of yours. I'm one of your 509 followers. And and Spray's mom said I call too many girls, so I'm calling a guy for a change. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm glad you so approved. So weird. They said it was my brother. I was like, um... Do you have, do you have a brother? Impossible. I have a couple brothers. Oh, okay. No, I'm not your brother. No, you're not my brother. As far as I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I'll let you get back to your eye exam. Did you have your eyes checked yet? No, not yet. Oh, tell them to hurry the fuck up. Actually, put them on the phone. I'm going to tell them to hurry the fuck up. <laughs> no, be nice to them. They're okay, nice. I'll be nice. All right. All right, thanks. It was nice talking to you, finally. All right, nice talking to you. Love you. All right, bye. Bye. Oh, he hung up. I didn't get to tell him to hurry the fuck up. Uh, are you happy, Sprays, Mom? I called a guy, and it, it wasn't... <laughs> it, it was it was fine, okay? I called a guy, all right? Stupid Sprays, Mom. Okay, I think I'm ready to quit. I've got work to do. I need to go take a shower. I'm still tired. I'm not awake yet. But this has helped a little bit. Uh, I just uploaded this morning to uh, the new Phone Losers channel. I uploaded the show from Saturday. It's located at youtube.com. What loud? YouTube.com slash phone losers shows. Go there and you can listen to the latest show, or you can just go to phonelosers.org. I uploaded it there last night. Um, what else? Is there anything in my notes? No, nothing's in my notes. Uh, I did want to play a song, though. Some guy, um, earlier this year, like back in January, sent me a song. I wasn't really doing shows in January, I don't think. And, uh, his name is Lazy Old Jack, and he made a PLA beat. And we are going to play the PLA beat as we leave. So, I don't know if, uh, people in the chat room were talking about doing a show on their own Mixler stations. Maybe Lux, maybe Ram. They've been doing tons of shows lately. So uh, everyone should, everyone listening should come to the Madhouse chat room. Uh, it was located at madhouselive.com slash chat. And they post their show links occasionally into the chat room. And they do shows at night. And sometimes they're even funny. So thanks for listening, everyone. Here is the, the song called The PLA Beat by Lazy Old Jack. Bye, Spray's mom. He's talking to the police right now. He's talking to the police? Fire, 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 fire.
<laughs> Some losers of America.